Hey guys, it's the How To Guy123 here, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to save the Windows Spotlight pictures. Um, if you don't know what the uh, Windows Spotlight pictures are, um, you can set it in the personalization settings to um, make it so on your lock screen, Windows will set a different picture every day. Um, and these pictures are quite nice, you might want to use them as like a desktop, a wallpaper, and uh, they're pretty nice. They're usually of like a like a lake or a city skyline. They're very nice, and um, it also comes with a, an added bonus. So um, they come in like resolutions that you can use on like your phone. So um, they're really nice. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. It's very simple to do. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is hit the Windows key and R on your keyboard, and uh, that's just gonna uh, open this uh, run window here. Now go into the description of this video, and I've uh, provided this link here. Um, just go ahead and uh, copy it, and uh, paste it in the uh, the run window here, and uh, click OK. Now you'll see this opened a, uh, a folder full of uh, a bunch of random files here. Just uh, hit Ctrl A and Ctrl C on your keyboard to highlight them all and copy them. And pretty much we're just going to paste them wherever you want. I'm going to put them in my pictures, and uh, just create a new folder. And uh, call it whatever you want. I'll just call it the Windows since I, I already have like a, a spotlight uh, folder here. But I'll just create it. Call it Windows and uh, paste them in. And uh, now you'll see um, they're all random files. We can't really do anything with them. So we're gonna change uh, all these into uh, JPEGs or picture files where we can use them. So you're gonna want to hit Shift and uh, right click uh, in the white area here and uh, click, uh, I guess I can hit shift and click, there we go. Uh, hit open command window here and it's gonna open the, a command prompt here and um, go back into the description and I'll have this uh, command here. Once again, copy and uh, paste and then hit enter. And uh, once you've done that, you can go back to the folder here. It has changed pretty much uh, all these files into JPEGs and now we're pretty much done. Uh, one thing you might want to do though, I would recommend, is um, if we go through these, uh, some of these are not actually like pictures at all, and some of these are just like application icons, so I'd go through all these, delete what you want, or what you don't want, and uh, keep what you want. Um, as you can see, like some of these are icons, uh, some of these aren't even pictures at all. But an added bonus we have here is um, some of these are um, wallpapers that you can use on your phone. Uh, so you can, I guess, uh, put them on there and use them as a, a phone background. Um, I wouldn't use this as like a desktop background because uh, you'd have big giant black bars on the on the sides. But you can use these as a desktop wallpaper. Pretty much do whatever you want with them. I think they look pretty nice. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if this helped. If it didn't, leave a dislike. And uh, if you're having any problems, uh, leave a comment and I'll try my best to uh, help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.